Hey guys and welcome to everything about Windows. Today I want to show you how you can use the continue on Windows PC feature. And this feature was released or introduced with the Fall Creators update and it's a way to continue from your mobile device, either it's Android or iOS, on your PC, your Windows uh, desktop, laptop, Surface or whatever you are using and Windows 10 is currently running on. So yeah, it's uh, easy setup and yeah, let's walk through step by step. So um, yeah, I'm mirroring the screen of my Galaxy S7 Edge here and uh, so I can show you how you have to do on what you have to do on your Android device in this case and what you have to do on your Windows 10 uh, device. So uh, let's begin with uh, what you have to do here on your Android device. So you go to the Google Play Store mm, and you will search for an app called Microsoft Apps. So this is the name of the app we have to, uh, to use. So here it is. This is how it looks. The app icon Microsoft Apps. So this is the name of the application. You open this app and uh, maybe if you are running this app the first time you have to uh, to um, to sign in with your Microsoft account and and when you are signed in with your Microsoft account you will see or you will see basically also see if you are not already signed in but you will see this feature here start on your phone and continue on your PC without missing a beat so then you tap on learn how and then you will get an introduction. You click get started. Then it will show you how to use it. That you have to, how to you can uh, use this feature. You go on try it now. Then it will re redirect you to the Microsoft page to try it out. But um, yeah, I have uh, already signed in. But in this case, if you never have used this app. That's the point where you should be signed in. So if you are signed in, basically, uh, you are finished with the setup because then you can go to check if your device is registered um, over the app. You go to the um, menu in your settings, to the menu phone, where it says also link your Android and or iPhone. So let's wait that it opens up. Uh, and then it should show you that your phone is registered. So in my case, I would I should see uh, later on here SMG. Ah, yeah, here it is SMG 935F. So this is my Galaxy S7 Edge. And um, here you see that uh, over the app we have installed on our uh, Android device, our device is registered in our Microsoft account and it, sh it show up here. I give you a tip, don't use this uh, at a phone thing because basically what it does, it will pr give you a prompt and in there you, uh, Microsoft or Windows wants you to type in your um, mobile phone number but it has nothing to do with registering your phone so I thought it would have to do something with reg registering my phone but uh, it will just send you an SMS and with a link when you tap on the link it will not redirect you to the Microsoft app we have downloaded which is uh, the app w which you need to use this feature it will redirect you to the Microsoft launcher because Microsoft wants to push more user to use the Microsoft launcher. But you don't have to do the step here with at a phone. That's completely useless. And uh, so just again, go into the Play Store, download the Microsoft apps, follow the instructions there. You should then be signed in with your Microsoft account. And now I would uh, show you how you can use this feature. So it's uh, it's you can use this feature with Chrome uh, on your Android phone, with uh, Samsung Internet, for example, Firefox, Opera, which it's uh, you can use it with really every browser, 
and uh, also with YouTube, but that's that's coming later. So let's open up the Samsung browser here. So it works also with Chrome. So now let's uh, open up a new tab and we wanna um, open the uh, Yahoo website. So let's open this and yeah, you see we opened up here the the Yahoo web page and then you will go to the share option in your browser so you have to um, search it then okay it's on German but this is the share button then you tap on the share button you go on continue on PC and then it will show you the device you have registered over your Microsoft account here in so this is the device my desktop laptop or my laptop which is registered over my Microsoft account you can choose the option to continue later on and this here basically will send a notification to your uh, to your Windows PC which will be a pop up here with a link and then you can continue later because you can go into the action center and then um, open up the uh, URL from the website but if you tap here on your laptop it should uh, you should wait a minute uh, it's um, it's difficult to say when it comes but um, normally it takes some seconds maybe yeah you see so now Edge opened up and it will open the Yahoo website which we selected or which we browsed on our mobile device and you see here you can continue reading uh, articles or browsing through the website on your laptop or your Windows 10 device. So I said or I mentioned earlier that this work also with YouTube so I want to show you how you open up the YouTube app. So let's play a video from me. So we go into my channel and uh, here we open up my latest video video from from my channel the question and answer video then you go on the share button Windows. so we tap this share button and then you scroll down until you see this icon so it don't work yes it works so then you go on this icon here share on PC or continue on PC tap on it oh sorry I tapped on the wrong icon let's do it again so you tap on share you scroll down you scroll down and again until you tap on this one you continue on your PC desktop and then Edge should open up in some minutes or in some seconds and it will redirect you to the YouTube page. So that's easy how it is. So yeah, this works well and it's maybe useful if you are on, uh, if you are outdoor and then you find a website and you will continue on later because maybe it's uh, easier to read something on a, on a desktop than on a mobile device and then you can continue here on so this is also uh, can be productive and useful and um, I want to show you the other option there so uh, let's share again this uh, my my YouTube video but this time we won't continue directly we won't we are gonna um, select this option here and I want to show you that uh, I have to turn off the quiet hours because then we won't get a notification, you know, so let's turn off the quiet hours in the settings. So you have also to know uh, to look at this that you um, have to disable the quiet hours because then you won't or you will miss this uh, this um, message. So let's tap on later and we should get a notification uh, in some seconds or 
minutes. So yeah, here it says it's an error, an error occurred. So there are lots of errors, I think. So Microsoft has to improve this feature a lot because it doesn't work always very smooth. But um, yeah, that's basically how you use the continue on PC feature. I hope to, uh, you know what um, or how this feature now works. I could help you maybe. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please let them down below in the comments. And uh, maybe your question or your question will go or come in the next quest the questions and answer videos. Uh, sorry for my spelling, but it's late and it was a long day. But yeah, I hope to see you soon and bye.